Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, the Lord Jesus grants us the grace coming from His Word and from the sacrament of His body and blood. May this grace bear fruit in our conversion and change of heart. To prepare ourselves to receive this grace from our Lord, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask Him for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who showed the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. A certain man of the house of Levi married a Levite woman who conceived and bore a son. Seeing that he was a goodly child, she hid him for three months. When she could hide him no longer, she took up a papyrus basket, dubbed it with bitumen and pitch, and putting the child in it, placed it among the reeds on the river bank. His sister stationed herself at a distance to find out what would happen to him. Pharaoh's daughter came down to the river to bait, while her maids walk along the river bank. Noticing the basket among the reeds, she sent her handmaid to fetch it. On opening it, she looked, and lo, there was a baby boy crying. She was moved with pity for him and said, It is one of the Hebrews' children. Then his sister asked Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call one of the Hebrew women to nurse the child for you? Yes, do so, she answered. So the maiden went and called the child's own mother. Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this child and nurse it for me, and I will repay you. The woman therefore took the child and nursed it. When the child grew, she brought him to the fairest daughter, who adopted him as her son and called him Moses. For she said, I drew him out of the water. On one occasion, after Moses had grown up, when he visited his kinsmen and witnessed their forced labor, he saw an Egyptian striking a Hebrew, one of his own kinsmen. Looking about and seeing no one, he slew the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. The next day, he went out again, and now two Hebrews were fighting. So he asked the culprit, Why are you striking your fellow Hebrew? But the culprit replied, Who has appointed you ruler and judge over us? Are you thinking of killing me as you killed the Egyptian? Then Moses became afraid and thought, The affair must certainly be known. Pharaoh, too, heard of the affair and sought to put Moses to death. But Moses fled from him and stayed in the land of Midian. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will believe. I am sunk in the abysmal swamp, where there is no foothold. I have reached the watery depths. The flood overwhelms me. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. But I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God. 
In your great kindness, answer me with your constant help. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. But I am afflicted and in pain. Let your saving help, O God, protect me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify Him with thanksgiving. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own, who are in bonds, he spurns not. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus began to reproach the towns where most of his mighty deeds had been done since they had not repented. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, Will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. The tone of Jesus in our Gospel passage today is somewhat a tone of frustration. Frustration because he was looking for something. And what is Jesus looking for? Jesus is looking for a change of heart in the people. Hinahanap ni Jesus ang pagbabago ng kanilang mga puso, ang pagbabago ng kanilang mga isip. This is the fruit of faith that Jesus is looking for conversion repentance change of heart and in our first reading today we see examples of these stories of people who have changed their hearts and because of their conversion, led their lives into a different path, a path towards God. In our first reading today, we see the beginning of the story of Moses. He was saved by the daughter of the Pharaoh of Egypt. The order of the Pharaoh was to kill all the Hebrew babies. But the daughter of the Pharaoh had a change of heart. 
and therefore Moses lived. And when Moses has grown up as an Egyptian prince, when he saw an Egyptian striking a fellow Hebrew, he had a change of heart. He had compassion for the Hebrew slaves, even if he grew up as an Egyptian prince. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, God is looking for a change of heart in us. Hinahanap ng Panginoon ito at ito ang bunga ng pananampalataya na hinahanap ng Panginoong Diyos. Isang pagbabago sa ating isip, isang pagbabago sa ating mga puso. My dear brothers and sisters, how has the Lord changed your heart in this time? What has the Lord changed in you? And have we become open to God in changing our hearts so that He could lead us into the path where He wants us? I can uh, see some sisters here towards my uh, left. And since I saw the sisters, I thought of sharing my own story of change of heart that led me to a different path in life. I was really eyeing to study as a doctor. That is my dream. My mother used to tease me about becoming a priest. But I did not take it seriously. But because I saw the priest or seminarians as living a lonely life. I saw religious life as a lonely life. Ano iniisip ko ay naku malungkot yata magpare, malungkot pumasok ng seminaryo kasi mag-isa ka lang doon, kayo-kayo lang ang nandoon. But one time when I was in high school, a group of seminarians came to our parish and invited me to stay with them for one week as they were doing their apostolate work in one parish. And so I did. For one week, I stayed with them. And that changed how I see the life of a priest. I thought it was a lonely life, but in fact, I found that these seminarians, these priests are happy doing their work. And so I thank God for that one week that changed my heart, that changed my mind, and changed my perception of things. And it brought me to a totally different path. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is looking for a change of heart in you. What can this be, especially in this time that we are undergoing this pandemic? What has changed in me? What has changed in my perception, in my view of things? What has changed in my heart? And maybe God is calling you to a path that He wants you to take. Open our hearts to the Lord. Open our minds to the Lord. Because Jesus is looking for a change, a conversion in your heart. In this celebration of the Eucharist, let our Lord Jesus remain in your heart and let His grace make a change, a conversion in ourselves. Amen. Please stand.
God is patient and aware of our miseries. Let us pray to Him to help us on the way of conversion and renewal. For every petition, let us say, Renew us, O Lord. Renew us, O Lord. That the Christian faithful may heed the call to faith and repentance, let us pray to the Lord. Renew, Renew us, us, O Lord. Lord. That God may give us the courage to commit ourselves to the liberation in Christ of all those imprisoned in their selfishness, let us pray to the Lord. Renew, Renew us, us, O Lord. Lord. That those whose hearts are empty and cold may discover happiness in the love of God and neighbor, let us pray to the Lord. Renew, Renew us, us, O Lord. Lord. That the sick in mind or body may attain permanent healing, let us pray to the Lord. Renew, Renew us, O Lord. Lord. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life, let us pray to the Lord. Renew, Renew us, us o, Lord. o Lord. God of compassion and love, hear the cries of the world trapped in suffering and sin, and set us free through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end, we acclaim holy holy holy, holy lord, lord god, god of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory, glory. hosanna in, in the highest, highest. Blessed, blessed is he, he who comes in, in the name, name of the lord, lord. hosanna in the, in the highest please kneel You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art, who art in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, thy be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say, say the, word, the word, and my, and my soul, soul shall, be shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.